Welcome back to another uh, edition of Principles List. This is a special edition. This is our technology edition where we're going to explain some of the best websites that we feel will help students, teachers, and parents with their students. Today I'd like to show you one of my favorite websites. It's called freerice.com. Freerice.com is a super streamlined, very easy to navigate and monitor website for use at home or in the classroom. This is how it works. So go to your web browser and in the address bar you're going to put in www.freerice.com. All right, it's going to default to English grammar it looks like today. And um, so this one would just be which one is correct or not. So students can practice their English grammar. So would we say they're not here yet or they are not here yet? So we would say, uh, let me zoom this back out a little bit for you. Um, they're not here yet. Okay, it says it's correct. Uh, now, because I've already been playing today, it's already added up 300 grains of rice. I'm going to change subjects. So you go right here to change subjects. And um, let's go with English vocabulary and show you guys that. So these are synonyms. So bad means, you know, not good. And there it's added another 10 grains in. Incorrect means that it's wrong. And you can see down here there's 60 levels. And these get very, very hard. But the nice thing about it is that they're differentiated. So if I keep getting these right, it's going to move me up to another level. Um, if I get it wrong, it'll move me down a level and I continue to accumulate grains of rice. Um, and you can also click right here and Cozy. it will tell you, uh, it'll read it out loud for you. So that's kind of nice. Um, so let's move on to uh, math. So go to change subjects. I'm going to go down here to, uh, I'm using multiplication tables. There's two levels. Um, the first levels is basically like your one through fives and then level two goes up through 12, uh, 12 times 12. Um, so, but I'll show you basic math pre-algebra. There's 10 levels, has all four operations. So let's start getting these right. My level will start increasing. Um, and it goes to subtraction. And then it's going to go to multiplication. And then through to, uh, to division. And again, the nice thing about this is your students that are struggling with their addition facts, they'll stay down there and continue to work on those. And your other students can start getting into things like this with fractions, with uh, like and unlike denominators. Um, subtracting fractions, and they have equivalencies between decimals and percents, which is valuable practice. Um, and kind of the nice thing is you don't have all the bells and whistles and noises of different um, you know, game uh, websites where they answer one question and it gives them 30 seconds of bells and whistles and games they can keep. Um, it's very streamlined. It's all about content. So um, I really like this website for that. Then you start getting into some of these uh, more pre-algebra concepts up in level 7. And so those higher students, your honor students, can keep going. Um, and they're basically being challenged and practicing um, things that are more to their level. So um, if I get an answer wrong, let's say answer 7B for this one, it's going to say incorrect and it's going to tell me what the answer is and it'll knock me down one level so I can practice to work myself back up to there. Um, so you can see I've donated 560 grains. So if I'm a teacher and I'm walking behind that student, I know right now they've gotten 56 correct answers. So I've been playing the game, the math game, for 30 minutes. Well, it doesn't necessarily mean anything if they only have, you know, 10 or 15 uh, right answers. So you know exactly how many they're getting right. Um, I could see, you know, teachers saying, okay, give me 500 grains of rice, and then you can go onto this math website. Or I could see a parent every night, go do your 1,000 grains, go do 500 in math, do 500 in reading, or the English grammar um, for uh, maybe second language um, teachers. If you're, you know, high school or middle school, French, German, Italian, Spanish, there's different... Um, um, let me try my Spanish here. So El Numero means number and gasoline, and there's 10 levels on here, and it does get a little bit more difficult. So um, and for our chemistry teachers or our science teachers, it has basic um, 
some of the more easy uh, periodic table of elements uh, symbols. So that's kind of nice to do as well. So um, maybe ways that I might use uh, for geography um, countries on a map. This is kind of cool. Um, if you put the mouse over it, it will zoom in. And why did they start me off with that one? Uh, oh, I got it right, Belgium. So that's pretty cool. Um, so I could see using this a couple different ways. If you have your students seated in groups, I could see um, you add up each group's uh, total grains, have them add them up, and then you can either you know have a group contest, they get tallies or extra time um, for whatever. I could see then you know adding up the whole class total and maybe groups try to beat their group total. Maybe the class tries to beat their whole class total. Individuals try to beat their own individual uh, record. So there's kind of this intrinsic motivation to do better than you did before and uh, try to beat other groups. So the buy-in is kind of there and it again it's not going to sound like Chuck E. Cheese in your classroom. So um, a lot of different ways to use this. I could see using all those data points, all those numbers for mean, median, and mode. Um, so it's just a, there's just a lot of, that you can do with this website. So, you know, parent-teacher conferences, give this out to your parents and uh, have your kids practicing at home, uh, these different things, and uh, play with it yourself, I guess. So that's it. Uh, again, freerice.com and... We'll see you next time on Principles Live.